All right, on this video, I'm going to show you how to set uh, this movie that's running on Apple 4K TV through Amazon app that's also available on Apple 4K TV. How to get this movie upscaled to 4K. Obviously, you have to have a 4K TV and the resolution has to be set to 4, 4K resolution 2160p. Uh, chroma upsampling has to be to 422 via high-speed HDMI cable. But if you want this to be running compressed with HDR, you're going to have to go to a uh, video playback setting. And from there, that's how you will be able to have this running in HDR. I'm going to show you a little bit of this scene. And then after the scene is finished, I'm going to go through the settings. Actually, why don't we do this right now? Let me go. Let me go through the settings right now. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do this really quick. Then we're going to continue. Uh, the, the trick here is you have to go to the settings. Obviously, uh, your format has to be 4K HDR. You have to select uh, 4K HDR 60 frames per second, and your chroma has to be 422, but make sure that you have a high-speed HDMI cable. Okay, If you don't have high-speed HDMI uh, cable, then you're not going to be able to get this 422 chroma. Okay. Now here's the trick. This is the trick. The match content. This is the trick. You gotta make sure you turn uh, match dynamic range off and match frame rate off. The reason you want to turn this off because that's the only way you'll be able to force and compress that uh, upscaled 4K and HDR compression. In this case, what you want is you want that uh, static metadata to be compressed here from Apple 4K TV hardware. And that static metadata from Apple 4K TV hardware, it's going to compress that HDR into this movie. Okay. So now we're going to go back to Saving Private Ryan right here. And we're going to continue. I'm using my GoPro camera. And as you can see, uh, the color just pops. And the HDR is present here. You will see it in a minute. HDR is right there. HDR UHD. It's a 1080p upscale to 4K with HDR. So you will see HDR right here. There it is. It shows up right there on the, on the top right corner. And it really, it, the movie comes to life. It really uh, pops with color. Now, for those of you who would like to have this uh, soap opera effect and how do you get the soap opera effect on Saving Private Ryan? Well, it's simple. You go to the settings right here on the uh, and click to automatic uh, automotion plus. Leave the automotion plus to automatic and that's about it. I always leave it on automatic. As you can see, the color here pops. Uh, pops big time here. Uh, look at the color here. This is all due to the HDR compression. That HDR compression. You see stuff that you like sometimes didn't see previously on a movie. And it's really amazing that the amount of stuff that you can see with the uh, HDR compression here. And uh, it's really good, man. The detail, uh, it's really remarkable here. Even the, the sand beach, it's uh, orange, brownish. Uh, you get to see it the way it was really filmed and uh, it's it just brings uh, it brings this movie experience a little bit better than as if you were to watch it just like with uh, its standard uh, dynamic range so HDR compression here from Apple 4k TV definitely helps and definitely looks good and uh, I definitely recommend that you guys try this out and, and give it a give it a try you know just look at the color the color pops big time here with HDR and it's just uh, just better so uh, this is as much as I'm gonna show you so I'm gonna go uh, go ahead and uh, exit out of here and uh, that's it There you have it. And that's the one unique thing about Apple 4K TV, you know, uh, 
it's going to compress um you know even if you're watching james bond like for example if you watch a james bond and james bond you know it's in 4k but it's not in hdr but no problem since we have the hdr compression here we can still watch that james bond in hdr compression for example Use the only uh, use the voice on the uh, Apple, which is right over here. The voice 007, and I'm sorry, 007, and it's gonna show up here. Um, you can't say 007, you have to say 007, and we'll go to a Tomorrow Never Dies, and we'll go to a quick preview, and uh, you will see on a quick preview, you will see that uh, it's being compressed. And there it is and you will see hdr hdr uhd and there it is and it's being compressed so and it looks pretty good it looks pretty good though uh, i like it uh now you're getting a 4k and you're getting hdr but you do have option if you don't want hdr if you don't want static metadata and dynamic metadata if you don't want them on at all time you do have the option to turn it off so that's kind of cool that uh apple uh 4k tv it's giving you that option so that's kind of awesome you know and it looks pretty good you know definitely does uh, on the hdr here hdr compression there it is hdr if you guys can't see it or not you see it right there i'll show it to you one more time just so you guys can see it the HDR will pop right over here. There it is. HDR UHD right there. So let me zoom out a little bit. There you go. I'm using my GoPro Hero 5 camera here. And uh, you no, know, HDR definitely adds adds to the color, adds to the ambient of the light. And uh, it's definitely uh, something I would recommend though. All right, so there you have it, guys. Uh, just a short little video. I wanted to do this for you guys. Uh, yeah. So, little tips for those of you who have Apple 4K TV. And um, hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. Uh, uh, I doubt anybody else out there. I doubt any other YouTuber out there is giving you this much content as I do in terms of... Uh, all things 4k so anyway thank you guys i appreciate it thank you for support we all we almost gonna hit 19k 19,000 and i think by the end of february i'm, I'm gonna hit 20,000 subscribers so that's pretty cool thank you guys appreciate it